guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit, and welcome to another episode of my High Heel Collection. This is a series of short videos where I am having a little bit of a message, trying to rest my jaw, and a lot of more runway high heel collection. And the reason for it is primarily because I am trying to give my jaw a break. But I have a beautiful high heel collection that I am updating you because some of these are new, some are old, and this is sort of an update to a prior series that I had done of my high heel collection. But I always love to have a message because I want you to have something to take with you for your day, and hopefully it speaks to you at this point in your life. This is completely coming from R.C. Blakes, who is a wonderful speaker, mentor. I don't know him personally, but I've listened to a lot of his videos. I really love his advice. It's very common sense, but of course he has a perspective that's similar to mine in that he believes in God as his source. And so, in this video, it will be a little bit of things that you might have heard out in the world in the way that uh, people talk about manifesting your vision, but a lot of it has to do with how God has a say in that. And so this is just a quick little snippet of one of his videos on the law of manifesting your vision. But I thought it was really important for us to think about as we look at our lives, as we look at what we want from our lives. And so I hope that one of these little points might trigger something for you. He says, you must see yourself as you are to be rather than how you are currently. I think this is really important that we really Think about who we want to be versus getting stuck in who we feel like we are today because that can kind of get us stuck and we have to think ahead about who we want to be and then start acting in that way versus getting caught in that trap of who we feel that we currently are. Your inner perception determines your outer projection. Your inner perception determines your outer projection. So again, this has to do with what do you believe about yourself? If you only believe a bunch of negative things, then there's a pretty good chance you are going to project that outside of you. And that is what you are going to kind of live up to. So be careful what you believe about yourself. Your perception thrives off of one of two sources, reality or revelation. Either focus on where you are and what you have now, or you focus on what God has determined for you and where you are to go. So the revelation of what God has for you is much more powerful than the reality of what you are seeing right now. It doesn't mean that you deny reality, of course, but as you, as I spend time with God, as I read his word, I realize all that he has made me to be and all that I am right now, and therefore I'm able to live out of that place. So we have to be really careful about what we use as our source of perception, whether it's reality of what we're living in now or the revelation of who we really are and meant to be. I talk about this a lot in some of my videos on kings and queens. God made us as kings and queens. He made us to have dominion. And we don't act like it most of the time. We act like we are you know, the subservient and not empowered type of people that he made us to be. But a lot of that has to do with our perception and therefore we kind of live out of that place. So 
the more that we take on the understanding of who we are now, the way that God has said we are, the more that we can actually live out that reality. And thankfully, God, if we are in, in Jesus, he says that we are conquerors. He says that we are the head and not the tail. He says that no weapon formed against us will prosper. And we have all these promises that remind us that we have what we need now. You have to be a winner in your mind before you can be a winner in the field of life. And I think we all know that, but most of us sort of get stuck up here. So remember that the more that you learn to overcome from the point of your thinking, the more that you are going to live that out. There's all kinds of Bible verses that he mentions as well, but these are the kind of the highlights. Your perception of God affects what you believe is possible. I think that that's pretty interesting too, because a lot of times people either feel disconnected from God, or if they are connected to God, they don't really realize the God that made the universe and made them. And how much he works through us to do things that are impossible in our own strength. We have to tap into him. Like you can't just say, I'm going to do all these things and not have the power of God under you to lift you and take you there. But a lot of times I think that we disconnect from that. And, you know, again, it's, it's stuff that I talk about all the time because, you know, Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches and apart from me, you can do nothing. So when you are attached to the vine, you have the source, the everything that you need. And I think that that is something we forget and we disconnect so easily because we want to do things on our own. And lastly, your overall perception determines your magnetism. What you see in you will be drawn to you. People respond to you the way that you see yourself. So I know a lot of times people act like victims and they feel like everything is happening to me and woe is me. And unfortunately that perpetuates a cycle of people seeing you as a victim and you just getting more and more of that heaped upon you rather than coming from the point of I might have these things that are happening, but I have an option. I have a choice in how I am going to use this to build my strength, use this as a launching pad into something better. And we all have those choices of how we want other people to see us. But if we don't see ourselves that way, we will not draw people to us. It is just one of those laws of, of nature of God. It, it's like who you are is what you project, who you believe you are is what you project. And then therefore people respond to that in whatever way you're projecting. And so be careful what you're thinking of, be careful how you consider yourself. Whenever I get into those mind traps of feeling negative or toxic, I have to think about, am I believing a lie or am I believing the truth of what God has said? And when I step back into the truth, that's when I feel like my perception changes. So Father God, thank you so much for bringing these wonderful people here. I thank you for their willingness to listen, that you have just done marvelous things that we can't even imagine. Help us to have a just different perception, a revelation of who you made us to be. And I thank you and praise you for all that you do in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, let's go and do some runway walk.